Now, how does smoking cause a higher blood pressure? If you've been watching some YouTube videos, then you would have found out that the nicotine that is absorbed into your bloodstream when you smoke cause vasoconstriction. That means your blood vessels will constrict and that would increase the blood pressure. But there are many ways that smoking can lead to higher blood pressure. When you smoke, if you've been smoking for a long time and you're a heavy smoker, you would have lung damage. Normally, the surface area for the lung for gas exchange is about the size of a tennis, a tennis court. So when there is damage, let's say if you have emphysema, the amount of surface area available for gas exchange is a lot less. So that means there will be less oxygen going into your blood. Another thing that happens is that when you smoke, there's some tar that build up inside your lung and the tar will block the gas exchange. Again, that means that there will be less oxygen going into the blood. And another thing that happens is when you smoke, you also smoke in a bit of carbon monoxide. The carbon monoxide would bind to the hemoglobin molecule which is where the oxygen normally binds to. That takes away the hemoglobin for the transport of oxygen in your blood. So in a way you are now anemic. That means there's less hemoglobin to carry the oxygen around in your blood. The problem with carbon monoxide is once it gets attached to the hemoglobin, it doesn't want to let go easily. So it takes a long time for the carbon monoxide to get out of, get out of your system. So overall, that means when you smoke, there will be less oxygen going into your bloodstream. Your brain and other parts of your body need to have a constant supply of oxygen to function normally. So what happens when there is a drop in oxygen level? The brain will interpret that as an emergency situation and it will signal the heart to beat harder and faster and maybe cause the blood vessel to constrict and that result in higher blood pressure. And if you smoke for a prolonged period of time, if you continually smoke, you will have more lung damage, you have more tar build up, you have more carbon monoxide absorbed into your body, and your sympathetic nervous system will remain activated and the blood pressure will stay up. And that is how smoking leads to higher blood pressure.